I'm gonna miss Peach, let me not waste your time. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to do this motion tile reveal in DaVinci Resolve. To start off, I'm gonna have adjustment clips put on top of our footage. Each footage is about 33 frames and 24 FPS. That's kind of how I'm gonna use it here. Then after that, we're gonna go in the Fusion page. In the Fusion page, what we're gonna do for the first part of the transition is we're just going to put a transform node and we're just gonna do the zooming animation and the sliding animation. So we have the first part of the zoom, it's like the first half of the video, so it's like about 15 frames. So I'm just going to keep him at the 15 mark and at the beginning for one. And then I'm going to go around, around 8 frames and then move this up to like about 1.1 or 1.2. Let's go in between that. So now we have something like this and it bounces back. And I don't think I'm going to go to the midpoint that's around over here. Actually, that could be the end. Let's just bring this to 0.7. Uh, 0.7 will do for right now. And then so we have our animation like that before it's blind. And then I think we're also going to do the slide. So, so let's just say we're going to, when we back up, we're going to go to the left and then we're going to go right. So around here, this is when we're going to, going to go backwards. I'm just going to keyframe around here. It goes to over here. So it goes like this. And then the rest is going to go on the opposite side like that. And then let's put our edge behavior to wrap. Now let's go into the spline page and let's open up these up these graphs right here. I'm going to highlight all these keyframes and we're just going to hit S. So we're going to smooth them out. I'm going to start with the zooming keyframes. Let's go like this. Like an ease in, ease out, I don't remember. Something like this and kind of aim your graph just towards something like this so now it's much smoother zoom movement maybe you could make this so it's a little more faster and then it's down something like that and now let's go to the exposition do this i'm going to do this bring this up like that It's a little too smooth, so I'm just gonna drag this out a little bit more, holding Alt, and then the curve goes like that. And then this needs to happen a little bit earlier, so I'm gonna move these keyframes back like that. All right, that works. And last thing I'm gonna do for this transform is gonna put keyframes on motion blur. So keyframe at the end, I do about three frames. Keyframe, go back, and then click this line a couple times until it goes to point three. So something like that. Now we have the movement down. We're gonna grab a merge node and put it behind the transform. Control C, this transform node over here, and then we're actually going to hit Control Shift V. And what this is going to do is going to make a paste an instance. So basically, what an instance is, is a copy of whatever node this is, but whatever you change to this node will also happen to this node. Into, unless we do something called de instancing, which I'll go over really soon. So now that we have this, we're going to connect this media in to this instance over here, and then we're going to put this on top of the merge like this and i think i'm going to have a different so i'm going to hit Control t on the merge so this part footage this one is going to go behind uh this footage over here now that we have that we're going to let's view the instance see what we're doing and we want this to go the other way for our motion tail reveal so we're actually going to right click this x position over here and then go down hit the instance what this does it unlinks the control from this transform. So while I clicked on this instance, I'm going to double click here to reset the exposition. I'm actually going to pin, go back to the original transform, pin this, the sidebar over here so I have easier access, and then click on this instance and so that you can see that this node is down here and it's pinned. And I can see this exposition over here. And then we're going to use an expression. So I'm going to double click the exposition, hit the equal sign, and then click out of it. And it's going to bring up this little panel. And this is how we can link node values to each other so what i want to do is i want to take this exposition and link it to here i'm going to take this little plus sign put the box and then drag it over the numbers of the exposition control and now and whatever this number is is going to be this number so watch everything's the same but for the motion tile reveal we want it to go the other way the great thing we can do with expressions is that we can actually alter the value going in with other uh, values. So if I actually hit the negative sign in front of this transform one position K, it will actually go to the other side. 
So now we got our animation down. What we're going to do is we're going to actually mask this part of the footage. But what we do is take another instance again, control C, control shift V, put it down here. It's connected to the mask input. So hold all this brings up this little menu when you drag it to the merge and hit the effect mask. So what we want to do is grab a mask, bring it down here and connect it to the uh, instance. So hold all to the instance, hit source. And now it goes there and you can see now that actually masking a part of the image so it goes like that but we don't want that we want it to be this whole row that goes the other way so what I do let's bring this height all the way to one go to width like that and now you can see actually doing the whole screen but that's not what we want so we're gonna go to the instance over here we're gonna right click the edge behavior the instances and hit transparent so now it's only doing one little section of the footage but we want this whole row so what am i going to do we're actually going to go to the instance over here and right click the width and then de-instance that and then just bring up the width all the way and now we have something like that and then if we go to the next clip so we have it played out like that and we're just going to do our regular slide transition and so intermediate in grab a new transform and we're going to from the exposition and then have it go to like 28 so it's at zero there and we want it to be over here so 0.5 is fine you reflect something like that open the spine position i like these keyframes hit s bring it down like that some sort of graph like this and i, I don't like seeing that little part of the screen where the, the side where the star hits. So I'm actually going to zoom into the clip a little bit and point one five how about that? That kind of that kind of works. Yeah, so you you don't even notice that it's not the space over here. So if we play everything back right now, we'll see that's how you do your motion tile reveal. If you have any more questions or suggestions on what I should do in the future, please let me know down below in the comment section. If you want to join the Resolve AMV community discord, there's a link in the description as well as my own server if you would like to join. And with that, subscribe and have a good day.